understanding hundreds, tens, and ones, lesson 9.2. We can add tens to make hundreds by playing a game. We can even add ones if we wanted to. We spin a spinner two times, and each spin will tell us how many tens to add. We write it down for the first spin, and we spin again. We write it down for the second spin. Then we add the tens together and regroup them into hundreds if we have enough. So we can write how many hundreds, tens, and ones we got. So if I got a four on the first spin, then that would mean four tens. Then I would spin again, and if it landed on the seven, then that would be seven tens. And I can add four tens plus seven tens to get eleven tens, or forty plus seventy, that's the same thing, isn't it? To get a hundred and ten, we can write it in each place value correctly and write the number. See? So, I've got my little spinner here. If you don't have a spinner, you can also use a number cube or dice. Or you could use a deck of playing cards. You could pull a card that's upside down, and that's how many tens you have to have. So if we spin this, let's see if I can spin this. All right, so we have five tens for the first spin. We spin it again. We get one ten for the second spin. We can add five tens and one ten. That would be six tens, wouldn't it? Six tens and zero ones, and we would have a sixty. See? Let's try it again. Let's see if we can do this again. We have four tens. And four tens. Four tens and four tens make eight tens, don't they? So what would happen if this landed on a nine instead of a four? So our four tens and four tens makes an 80, okay? But what if it didn't land on the four again? What if it landed on a nine? Four plus nine is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That would be thirteen tens. We'd have to put the one over here regrouped and then the three for the thirteen. So that would give us one hundred and three tens and zero ones. And then it would be written like this, see? So you can do this. You can use cards, dice, you know, number cubes, or a spinner if you've got it. And try playing a spinning game and see how many tens you can add up, all right? When we add one to a number, it's added to the ones place. When we get ten ones, we regroup the ones to the tens place. We got too many ones, so now we have a one in the tens place. So we have, when we have ten tens, we do the same thing. We regroup the tens to the hundreds place. 9 plus 1 is 10. We regroup the 1 up here and put the 0 down here. And 9 plus 1 is 10. 99 plus 1 gives us 100. See? So I've got these tables here. In this table, we added 1. So we have 300, 0 tens, and 0 ones. If I add 1, then I have 300, 0 tens, and 1 one. When I add another one, now I have two ones, then three ones, then four ones, then five ones. See how these are staying the same? Six ones, seven ones, eight ones, these are still staying the same. When we get to nine ones, we can't put two digits in this column. Each column is only allowed to have one number in it. So we regroup and put that one here in the tens column. See? And now we have zero ones. And if we add one more, now the ones column starts building back up again. See? If we have 598 and we add a 1, we're going to be at 599. If we add one more, this is going to be regrouped with a 1 in the tens place and a 0 in the ones place. But now we've got a 9 plus a 1, so we have to regroup again. So we put a 1 in the hundreds place and a 0 in the tens place. 
If we add one more, we now have 601. If we add another one, we have 602. If we add another one, we have 603. See? It just keeps going up by one, and when it gets too many, so that we can't put two digits here, and it overflows to the next place value, then that becomes a zero, and then we start with one again, okay? Here we're gonna add 10. So we had 770. When we add a 10, we add a one to the tens place and zero to the ones place. Now we have 780. We add another 10, we have 790. We add another 10, and now instead of putting two digits here, it overflowed and had to be regrouped into the hundreds place. So this changed to an eight, and that went back to being a zero. Then we start counting again, one, two, three, four, until it overflows again when we get nine tens, and that would turn into a 900, wouldn't it? And it would just keep doing that. All right, now look at this one. We had 283, we have to add a 10, so we add a one to the tens place and a zero to the ones place. So the ones are all gonna stay the same. We had 283, now we have 293. If we add 10 more, we have to regroup and it overflows into the hundreds place and that becomes a zero. We added a one to the 200, so now it's 300, 303. We add one more 10, now it's 313, and then one more 10, it's 323, see? And the pattern starts all over again until it gets to nine again, and it overflows, and then that would turn into 400, see? So if we're adding one, and we have 100, 200, 300, all right, let me stand back a little bit. We've got 300 here. We've got no tens, and we've got five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. If I added one more to the ones place, if I added one more to this ones place, what would happen is we would make a long of 10, wouldn't we? It's not the prettiest long, it's all crooked, but that's a 10. And we can actually move it into the tens place. It's gonna ruin my lines, but that's okay. All right. So now we have one 10, see? Once we got enough ones to make a 10, we can move it to the tens place. So now we have 310, and see there's no ones. If I add one more to this, well now, I've got three hundreds, one ten, and one one, so I have 311, see? Let's take a look at this one. Right here, we're gonna add 10. We have 100, 200, and we have five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, and three ones, we have 293. If we add a 10 to this, if we take one of these longs of 10 and, and add it here, we could take these 10 tens and move them to the hundreds place. Three, four, oops, five, six, my arms aren't long enough to show you, seven, eight, nine and then the last one when we put all these together see it makes a hundred now we have 100 200 300 because we moved these 10 tens from over here because it was too many we moved it to the hundreds place and we've got 303 see there's no tens we have 303. If I add one more 10, well then that would go into the tens place, and now we would have one, two, 300, one 10 and three ones, we'd have 313. And then I could keep adding tens to here, and when I got 10 of them, I could put it over into the hundreds place, see? We can just keep redoing that, right? Every time it overflows, because we can't have two digits in one place value, all right? So, we're going to keep talking about 
understanding three-digit numbers in the next video with hundreds, tens, and ones, okay? See if you can play this game of adding tens and seeing if you can regroup them into hundreds, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.